I'm alive. Good morning, internet. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, world. Good morning, Lexalicious. Hello. Good morning to the whole world, because the whole world are watching. Yes, yes, that's why I have. What's the population of the world? That's that's how many billion subs I have. <laughs> Good morning to the chat. We've got loads of people in the chat already. Um, living vicariously through my car boot hall, I think. So let's say some more. We've got Deb Hughes, Kay Gilson, Laura Eccleston Siebel, Claire Plant, Claire Camp One. Uh, Kay Gilson again, two Ks. Kay Gilson's just one person. I've just said her twice. Queenie Conquest. Oh, uh, mother of Norman. <laughs> Claire Borden, Claire Camp Two. Uh, Rebecca Turner, who says, I'm up and not going to go back to sleep. She sounds quite determined. Jem Jem, Kazzy Carl, Hannah W, Heather, Heather's in. I'm always surprised when it says Heather Wood. I'm like, who's this then? Kay Gilson, just one person. I've just said her twice. Queenie Conquest. Did something weird just happen? Uh, uh, mother of Norman. Yes, it's playing at your end. Uh, Rebecca Turner. Who's the... I don't know. Is that better? It seems to have stopped. Okay, that's weird. What did you do that changed it? I closed the window, so I probably had YouTube open on another window. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> um, Jason Entwistle, Adele Smith, uh, Deb Stevens in. Morning, Deb. Uh, I saw Hot Rod this morning on his bicycle. Uh, morning, Aish Mag and Lainey and Craig the Monocle and I said Gem Gem and Chris Tyler. Um, Chris Tyler says, morning, peeps. Has the old girl been doing some work this morning? Is he referring to me? Are you referring to me, Mr. Tyler? Get out. <laughs> How very dare you. Um, Rebecca Harris. If I said Nia, let's say Nia again, just in case. Carrie, L33 misses. Uh... Uh, the blah 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 Michelle Hood, uh, Peter the Vinegar Jar. Oh god, it's shot off in my hand. Peter the Vinegar Jar, where were we? Let's go back up to Peter. God, it's miles away. I will get there, people. Let Lex, you just have a nap. Bumblebee, Bumblebee is a Deb if we need any Debs for the Deb crew. Sandy Beach, Mick Page, uh, she's always flipping Mandy. Good morning, uh, Jackie Fun Stuff. Kelly's in. Good morning, Kelly. Carol Reeves is there. Karen Sell closing. Leanne Hill. Chris B. Phoebe from Fin Fashion Plus. Dame Dawn Cherie Paul. Julie Curry. Granny Kate. Clem Gems. That's a new one. Beth Rolls. Also a new name. I, I sometimes think people just change their name and I don't keep up. Uh, Martina Relove. Karen's in. Mike Dando's there. Kirsten is there. Joan Morris. Samantha Coates. Laurel D. Julie Garrett. Sally Kelly. Oh, Sally Kelly. Hello. Uh, uh, Bad Wolf. <laughs> Sue Bad Wolf. Sue Crew One. Sue Crew. <laughs> Andrea is in. Um, Peter, uh, Peter the Vinegar Jar. Peter Cummings is has a channel. He is on nine hundred ninety five subs, and he would like to get to a thousand. If you are not subbed to the Vinegar Jar, go and find him and subscribe and shut the bugger up. There's a good lad. Right now, go right now. You're allowed go to right leave. Now. We'll still be here when you come back. Don't worry. <laughs> leave now. Sub <laughs> Peter and then come back because I'm Absolutely. on this channel. It Wednesday. would be lovely if Peter got to a thousand during the live, wouldn't it? That would be great. Yeah. Okay. Lady Lolly, Leslie Chadwick. I did see him come home from work at Dubs, yes. Uh, Indie Chick, Daryl and Carol, uh, where it's pissing down in Tour Point, apparently. Lisa J, Lisa Count One, hand painted by Claire, Claire Count Three. I'm out, out, I'm strip, out stripping you with the clip with Claire's this morning. Um, Karen's put a link into Peter's channel, so you've got no excuse to say you can't find it. Shell Saruni's in, she says, nice leopard print, Lex. Nicola Giddings, Lisa Marshall, Lisa Count Two. Uh, G Scottish Seller, <sighs> Gary Nicholson, Daisy May, Harry Moon. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so tired. Oh, I've done it. I've got to the bottom. Welcome, everybody. And thanks for joining us. Goodbye. <laughs> Woo. It's lovely you that you're all there. There's 109 people watching. However, we are in very grave danger that by the time I finish saying hello, the hellos, it will actually be time to go. And that's the hour. Goodbye. Thank you for joining us. <sighs> Hopefully, Peter will hit the thousand during my live and I'll get all the glory. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, there's three just subbed. Oh, there's three. There's three. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm, not gonna say, I'm not showing you the car boot hall until Peter hits yeah. a thousand. Come on. Peter, can you confirm when you're on a thousand? Oh, morning, Kath Palmer. Good morning, DME. No, he just says one thing. My success is all done. Are you there? Are you there? He's there. Hey. Woo. Oh, my bingo wings are shocking. <laughs> right now, I'm just going to go to his channel and unsub. And I'm so, taking it back to 999. <laughs> oh, congratulations, Peter. Well done. 
Yay. Okay. Oh, blood oh, Heather says her husband's trying to fix up a magnetic cat flap. Microchip cat flap at the, the Treasure Pirate Tower. Too much swearing and stressed cats. Is right. that, are, you, are you posting the cats through to see if it works? And the cats are like, get off. <laughs> <laughs> Beth says she's hoping I can fulfill her car boot fix this morning because there's nothing for about four more weeks. This is our first one. I mean, the one on the other side of town that's our Saturday is supposed to be starting next week. Cheddar is supposed to be starting next week, I think, although I might be wrong. And our other, our other fieldy one is supposed to be starting in a couple of weeks' time, I think Josh said. So Peter says, can't Heather's husband just use the door? No, he's very tiny. He's very tiny. He has to have a flap. <laughs> Heather's very tall, so everyone looks tiny next to her. So um, before we begin, let me just say that I have come home from the car boot and had a shower. My hair is wet. And as we go through the stream, it will get bigger and bigger. And Lex will gradually get pushed off the side of the screen. <laughs> so, yeah, just if you're wondering what the hell's going on with Carla's hair, it's just wet and it's drying. So I'm sure you don't give a shit about Carla's hair. Lex, tell us all your news. Let's make them wait a bit longer for the haul. I've been selling on Etsy and I've had a, a decent week. So I've done... I'm up to 88 listings on there. I think I already had like 10 on there. Um, and I've sold, I've had five sales in the last week. Are you so only I'm putting really jewelry on there or are you putting other vintage, you've got vintage clothes and stuff, haven't you? Yeah, but I'm not um, I'm not too keen on selling the, the any kind of clothing anymore, to be honest. Over. So, <laughs> I mean, like I will sell vintage clothes if I can find them I'm not going to buy them from bulk wholesalers because I'd rather hand pick stuff because mm -hmm. I just don't trust them you know um but yeah I'm listing I'm starting off with all of my silver stuff first of all because that's the really nice pretty things for Etsy and then I'll probably um find the nicer bits from my eBay store like I've got some really cool Kenzo earrings from the 80s so they'll probably go on there at some point and things hmm. like that but yeah so will you cross list or will you take them off ebay and put them on etsy i have cross listed before and it was a bit of a pain in the ass because obviously at some point as, as meticulous as you think you are at some point something is going to sell and you've already sold it which on etsy is not so much of a problem because they don't ding you for it but obviously on ebay they do so bit of a pain hmm. but no, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep the two stores separate, I think. For now anyway. Josh says he nearly missed the notification. Josh, you shouldn't need the notification. You should be sitting at your computer at five to ten every Sunday, tapping your fingers, waiting. Especially because um, you're in Carla. Yeah, especially you know, since he's already seen me this morning, so it's not a surprise. Uh, Patricia Mama Five Sons and Helen are there. Uh, Helen, your favourite Lebanese. And um, G Scottish Seller says that Scotland is still in lower lockdown. No charity shops, no boot sales for a while. I think I'm being burgled. I'm sure I just heard somebody trying to open the front door, but the dogs didn't hear it. Um, got random stuff selling on eBay from my cupboard. My junk might be someone's treasure. Exactly. But the thing is, that's how most of us started on eBay, is selling old, old stuff yeah. that we didn't want. So people do want it and and i am often surprised by what sells so a few weeks ago i was given a big pile of stuff from my friend whose mum had passed away they were clearing out and then she said she just bought a massive pile of stuff and just said here you are and i went through it and i was like oh well you know it's not necessarily what i would have picked up if i was sourcing but i'll list it anyway and i have made a mint out of that pile of stuff so some of the so th that tells me Sorry, hiccups. That tells me that I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. When I'm going, that's not what I'd pick up if I was sourcing. Well, stupid you, because it sells. You know, mm -hmm. so don't listen to me, people. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Rebecca says she got a vintage Dior necklace in a job lot this week. I've got a Dior earring right here. Sue got some Dior earrings in her um, auction hall this week as well. I've got my, just it's just one Dior earring. That's why I've still got it. And I've got one Christian Lacroix earring, but the Christian Lacroix is quite cool. In the eighties, we quite often wore just one earring. I mean, it's very oh. Madonna to wear one yeah. earring. Yeah, I often wear just one earring, so that's why I don't mind keeping them. And this one, which is a, just a fabulous one, isn't yeah, that awesome? I love that. 
So I like my single earrings. I don't I don't mind keeping them for myself. Do you get a lot of people saying, I think you've lost an earring? Um, no, I think they just kind of look at me and go like, yeah. Uh, she's lost an earring over shit. <laughs> oh, okay. like, that's probably just what she does. Yeah. Yeah. I said, Charity shops are opening in Ireland on Monday. They're all going to quarantine donations for 72 hours, so I'm going on Friday. Yay. <laughs> Cool. And Michelle's in Scotland, also missing charity shops, usually stock up on summer clothes. Um, ours are beginning to open from the 15th, I think. But one of the car boot guys said this morning that like our he he um he he does the clear out from St. Peter's Hospice. You know, they when they take it off, he's the guy who comes with the van and takes it all away. And there are 50 St. Peter's Hospice shops in the Bristol and Southwest area, and only seven of them are going to be open up until Christmas, apparently. Wow. That's the current decision. I think what might happen is once they've opened the seven and they see things are going okay, they might then begin to open the others, even yeah. though that's even though that's not the current agenda. But we shall see. Yeah. We shall see. I don't really mind about St. Peter's Hospice because they're massively overpriced. So <laughs> I won't miss them. Yeah, I found some gems in there, but yeah, I agree with you on that when they are a little yeah. bit overpriced. Yeah. They're the ones that we go and go and oh, I suppose we better go and have a look. Yeah. <laughs> And, and you and you go adventurous pricing in here, yeah, very very loudly. Adventurous pricing again. <laughs> yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Shall I show you what I got? Do you care? Um, yeah. But, other hold stuff. on. Let me close the door. Oh, look, and there's the Texaco garage, everybody. Lovely view of Texaco Bridge End, beautifully framed in Lex's window there. Isn't it nice? You've got a really good view of that. That's a beautiful. It looks like a print on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Beth Roll says she sold a Vivian Westwood skirt this week, picked up for 20p at a jumbo sale the weekend. Wow. You would have wow. cried your eyes out. I would have. found a Vivian Westwood skirt for 20p. You would have been. Yeah. Like, yeah, we'd all have been sick of hearing about it. Yeah, I would have kept <laughs> it as well. So Bad Wolf says, so Carla, are you keeping Lex now that the car boots are open again? I'm keeping yeah. Lex as long as she's willing to stay, basically. I love doing the live with Lex. Um, I, she's absolutely kept us going over the last few weeks because it would have been me sitting there going. <laughs> <laughs> so I love doing the live with Lex. And if Lex is happy to be on, then I'm probably happy to keep on. When Lex's car boots as well start, we might shift the time slightly or something if, it, if we find that it's a crunch to get in here for 10. But, well, you know, it's... it's I it's a movable I'm, feast. I normally go down about half seven and I'm home by eight o'clock. Yeah. So, you, yeah, so it wouldn't be a problem for you being here by no. ten. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Peter says, adventurous pricing. I might try that. Normally I just say, fucking ridiculous. <laughs> also a good one. <laughs> hi, Neville. And hi, Chop Chop. Busy, busy, work, work, bang, bang. The A3 car boot on, on, is on in Surrey and it's rammed with people. Lisa J is there. I, I don't know if I've ever heard of it. Have I already said Lisa J? Hello, Lisa, just in case. And Lisa came yeah, three, that, possibly. Three, you think, yeah? Possibly, yeah. And Wubu76 is in. I didn't see you arrive either. People are sneaking in when I'm not looking. And Sue's, Sue's glad you're staying because she likes the double act. Yay. I'm the straight man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> In a way, you kind of fancy women, so perhaps you are. Yeah, exactly. See, <laughs> I'm closer to a straight man than you are. <laughs> Joan says, yay, yeah, Lex and Carla. Is that Lala or Kex? I think they're probably Kex. Oh, I quite like Lala. <laughs> Lala. Right, so Karen says, how did I find the car boot? Was it peeply? Right, so, so obvious joke. How did I find the car boot? I just turned around a corner and there it was. No, it was... <laughs> It was all right. It was they laid out in a one way system um, and there was no insistence on you wearing masks. But people, some people were, some people weren't. Uh, Josh had two masks on. <laughs> he did give me a reason, but I didn't quite didn't quite. Um, yeah, but Josh was wearing two masks, so you know, oh, don't really? Josh, it doesn't work with condoms, just so you know, you can't wear two condoms. That doesn't work at all. Um <laughs> but yeah, so they they got a one-way system, they spaced the stalls out quite well. There were still a few people who drifted and, and maybe forgot themselves a bit. I'm not gonna say that they didn't give a shit, but maybe they just got, you know, it felt very normal. It felt like a normal car boot sale, which which I was okay with, you know. And like I said, you can always 
as long as you are aware of your space, if somebody drifts, you can move away from them, can't you? You know? Yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah. Yeah, it was all right. It was all right. Kex are another name for pants, Rebecca, not trousers. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, Lisa was the first Lisa, so there's still only two, so you're still out outnumbered. Okay. Um, Mandy moves in. She says she's late, only just woke up. Lazy arse. <laughs> I did get Josh a lovely book to read. I bought Josh... Um, oh, hi, Vexify. I bought Josh a little book. He says he's going to read it cover to cover and then send it on to Craig. Uh, it's called oh. How to Tickle Your Pickle, and it's um, it's an entire book of improving your penis handling skills. So um, so I, I treated Josh to that. Can I borrow it after Craig? And you'll have to ask Craig if he, if he can bear to part with it, can't you? But, yeah, so Josh is currently going to be stand, sitting at home reading his little book, improving his penis handling. I presume if you've got your own penis, that's brilliant, because you can sit there and, and practice, practice on you. yourself. Yeah. Whereas if you were a female male couple and the female was reading the How to Handle the Penis... You'd have to have a penis handy to practice on, yeah. 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 We're 16 minutes in and we're on penises already. I don't think that's bad. That's that's Ooh. that's quite good. Good morning, Sail Away. Um, good morning, Foster D. So so jealous that you managed to get to a car boot. Our candies are still cancelled. Oh, I'd love to go to one of them. Uh, Beth Hall said, did you film any for the waffle? Not really. I filmed myself waiting outside. I filmed Josh arriving. But apart from that, I was in the in the zone. I was I was car booting. So I didn't really film a lot. I, th I kind of intended to as well. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, Craig says he'll look forward to receiving it and he'll forward it to you. And Lisa says, are oh, the pages stuck together? It was in brand new condition. <laughs> brand new condition. I feel that, well, actually, the lady who sold it to me said, my mum bought me that. <laughs> And I was like, your mum sounds cool because my mum refuses to admit that pickles exist. I don't know where my mum thinks I came from. <laughs> Stork, cabbage patch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So if, if Stork had left me, she'd have sent me back. So I bought, are you ready? Yes. We did fill a, Josh and I did fill a bag between us. So we paid three quid for fill a bag. And Josh gave me, I, I took a pound off Josh for his contribution because I want a lot of his in there. And then this is what I had. So in addition to the bits I'm going to show you, there is also a brownie pan construction kind of affair that's for Natalie, and I've left it downstairs. It's a proper confusing five-piece brownie pan kit. Right. I picked that up for Natalie. So that's downstairs. You guys don't need to see that. Was that to, to cook brownies and girl guides in? Yes, absolutely. Brownies and girl guides and Cub Scouts. I mean, we you know we're not we're not um discriminatory here. Absolutely. Cub Scouts, air, 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 air cadets, all of them, they can all go in. I bought these. Wow, they're amazing. Aren't they? I love them. Do you I know want what they one are? Tell her. Do you know what they are? They're for hacking uh, big chunks of ice. Yes, they're, they're not. They are measuring schools. Measuring schools? Why do I say schools? They're for measuring, measuring schools. School. You walk around schools and, <laughs> and measure them. They're measuring spoons. It's an adjustable measuring spoon. Can you see the writing on it? No. Push that up. Can you see? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So those that one says one tablespoon, half one and a half tablespoons, two tablespoons, whatever. And this one is teaspoons. So they're not branded. Now, Kitchen, I, I was just trying to do some research before we came on, and KitchenAid made some similar, but these are not branded. These are not KitchenAid. So I have no idea of any value, but I did think they were a clever little bakery tool. So I bought them. It is the kind of thing that I mean. They, there's Karen and you saying like, "Oh, they're good," and that's the kind of thing that I think. But I've got a spoon. Yeah, Why you do don't I... bake. Well, I do. Well, no, I don't bake cakes and stuff, I suppose. But I, I had a live kitchen as well. Um, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. That's like, to me, that's a gadget that's like gadget for gadget's sake. But I understand why people like Karen would go, ooh, yes. Yeah, I suppose. Nice. Um, somebody definitely must have come into my house because somebody is cooking now in my house and there was only me here. That's Anne, didn't it? But how did he get in without any dogs noticing? Uh, they're in the back garden. Buddy's right here. Oh. I hope it's Anne. Otherwise, somebody's literally broken into my house and is cooking. As long as they're cooking for me, I'm, I'm okay with that, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so those, so bear, bear in mind, my filler bag was £2 because Josh paid a pound of the three. So I got those. I got a Babyliss hair removing device, a Babyliss lady shaver which sits on its own charging station. That with should that, go for an easy 12 to 15 quid. Which I presume that you haven't licked. 
I haven't licked it yet. I might lick it in a minute. Okay. Random is kite it... hair just drifted down and, and just drifted across my vision. I got this for Kelly. I don't know if Kelly's still there. Oh, Laura says she has those spoons at home. Laura, do you know where you got them from? Do you know what brand they are? That would be useful if you do. Um, good morning, Janet Plant. Um, yeah, is Kelly still in? Kelly flipping fantastic finds. I got this for you, Kel. It is one of those mini alarms. We were talking about this yesterday. So um, I won't go into too much detail in case Kelly doesn't want her. It's not for Kelly personally. Kelly, Kelly's not alarmed. But just in case Kelly doesn't want her personal private business splashed all over the internet, I won't um, go. But it's brand new. Look, it's, even the batteries are still in their, in their shrink wrap. So um, I just thought it might be useful. And like I said, even if it's not useful and, and she doesn't need it, then it won't hurt, will it? it was it, Yeah, Kelly, you, yes. Yeah, if it's no good for your mum, then it won't matter. Okay. Carmen says it's the hamburglar downstairs cooking. <laughs> I got a set of Port Merion coasters. These are Port Merion Village coasters. So this is actually Port Merion Village. I've been there. I've been there. Are you recognising any bits of it? No, because I was about six years old and I went. The only <laughs> thing that I remember, it was the, the little petrol station there. I must have a thing about petrol stations. But it had one of those really old-style petrol pumps, you know, with, the, with like the big round bobbly bit on, on the top. Yeah. And I remember thinking that that looked really bizarre. Yeah. I would like to go to Clovelly. However, I feel that I may now be too fat to go to Clovelly because you can only walk in Clovelly. You have to walk down the hill. I don't know what that is. Clavelli is that Clavelli is that really, really steep, steep village where they, they have to have donkeys to get their stuff up and down because there's no train, no cars. Where's that? I want to say Devon. It could be Dorset. It could be Cornwall. I could be Cornwall. It's, it's down. It's down a bit. I know right, that. Much. Okay. I yeah. want to go to Barrafundal Bay. That's to my where? Barrafundal Bay. Just because of the name, like and also because it, it it's beautiful. Apparently, but it's West Wales. Barrafundal Bay. Isn't that nice? Fundal Bay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Kelly says I can say why if I want. Kelly's mum is less able than she used to be, and so she's sleeping downstairs, but she also has the occasional fall, and she fell in the night and wasn't able to shout loud enough to wake her partner who sleeps upstairs, and so led on the floor for several hours in discomfort while she was yelling her head off trying to wake him. So we thought if she had one of these little pull alarms, that might wake him. It might not. It might just deafen Kelly's mum, but it might work. You never know. Okay. <laughs> Claire says, I like those measuring spoons. You can message me about them, Claire. Absolutely. Uh, Hannah says it's in Devon. The, um, the Clavelli place is in Devon. Um, everybody wants to go to Port Merion now. Everybody's off. <laughs> everybody's, everybody's going. Oh, wait, um, it was filmed as well. Yeah. Yeah, that was filmed at Port Merion with, with the big bobble thing that chases him around. Yeah. yeah. Oh, best as I could get on the cliff train. That sounds like a win then, because I wouldn't be able to walk up and down a hill. Okay, G Scottish Seller and Bad Wolf are both, ask, both asking how much I paid for the haul. I spent altogether £28.50. So, not bad, not bad really for what I've got. I picked up this Miss Marple box set. Lisa says I'm holding it in the wrong hand because it's hot and I'm going off the screen. I'll try and hold it. This, this Miss Marple box set, and the reason I picked it up is because I sold the exact same one of my own a couple of weeks ago, so I know it'll be an easy, quick relist. It'll go for 10 or 12 quid. So that went into filler bag. Some wool for me mother. She's enjoying a crotcheting. A melamine Christmas tray made by Pimpernel. Now, Pimpernel are the people who make the placemats. People like Christmassy shit. In yeah. event, that, that was my entire buying philosophy. Fuck it, put it in. And an Emma Bridgewater polka dot photo album. It's a little bit scuffed and grubby, but it hasn't been used. None of the... Um, no, oh, maybe it has. I don't know. Either way, fill a bag and it went. So that lot was two quid. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think so. Like I said, there's, there's 10 quid there for the box set alone. Mm. So, uh, yeah, winning at life. Winning at life. Woo! Lainey says she missed some as the recovery at home team. I haven't done much, Lainey, and it wasn't very exciting. You haven't missed a lot. So that was the filler bad bit. Oh, Daisy May says that that tray is the Spode Christmas tree design. Oh. Thank you, that's oh. useful to know. See, people know stuff. Laura says the spoons are by Kitchen Art. I thought so too, but the Kitchen Art ones that I've seen on Google Images have the Kitchen Art logo here, and mine don't. So, don't know. Morning, Sexy Aid. Are you um, kissing Aid? 
No, I was saying Spode. Oh, Spode. Um, <laughs> I like Spode. No, um, Aid was on Lainey's channel uh, last night, and on behalf of you, I did ask why he um, was clothed. I don't know why he seems to be clothed a lot of the time. It's very, un very un unsettling. I prefer him no, not right? clothed. Yeah. But also, this <laughs> is sexual harassment, so apologies, Aid. It is a bit. Um, I, uh, where I've there we go. Jackie says Carla's reselling tip number five four six. People like Christmas shit. That is my reselling you. tip. Mandy. Mandy's done it. Mandy, I'm. Oh, see, this is why I stopped saying prices, isn't it? Thank you so much, Mandy. Mandy has super chatted me twenty eight pound fifty, which is the sum total of everything I spent this morning. Um, Mandy, that's incredibly generous of you. Thank you so much. You really don't have people. to. You're I'm a bit worried that Mandy's feeling obliged to do this now. And I re you really don't have to, Mandy, but thank you so much. It's incredibly generous of me. She says I was brave. I'm not sure I was brave. I was more a bit... Can't wait to get back at it. <laughs> Poor Josh. I arrived and I sent Josh a message going, I'm here. And he's like, I'm on my way. And I was like, okay, and I'm waiting outside. And I sent him a message saying, craving too bad, going in. <laughs> I was like, I can see the guy through. I want to go yeah. in. I can see the things. I <laughs> know the things, all the things. Mm -hmm. Karen says, are you more excited to list this than all the stuff I've been putting off? Absolutely. I will list this stuff in the next two days. The cupboard of stuff that's been there two years will continue to be there for probably another two years. Absolutely more excited because it's new stuff and it's and I chose it. Whereas the stuff mm. that's in the cupboard I didn't chose, it just arrived, you know. And also it's not clothes as well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm exactly. Clothes. Ford of clothes. Morning, Georgina. Um, Beth Roll says Courtney Kardashian used spode Christmas tree wear last year all over Insta, so it got popular again. There you go. That tray alone mm. going to make me a million quid. Thanks, Kardashians. Um, Kardashians. Kardashians. That was very Bristolian, Kardashian. Oh, I'm from Kardashian. I'm from Bristol. We like the Kardashians. <laughs> oh, I'm from Kardash Can you imagine if they were from Bristol? <laughs> oh, I'm Kim. I'm Courtney. <laughs> and I'm the other one. <laughs> and I'm the other one that nobody can remember. <laughs> what the fuck are the other ones called? Kylie, is it? Isn't Chloe? Chloe? One's called Chloe. <laughs> is, is Kylie? Is that, the, Kylie? Yeah, Kylie's the richest one, isn't she? Or apparently isn't. Or what, something. more rich than Kim? I can't apparently. remember the accent. I don't know. I think it's all made up anyway. I don't actually think they're real. You don't think they're real people? No. They're a cartoon. Not even that. CGI. I think they're... Yeah, the CGI, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lisa says, Armadillo. Armadillos. Yes. Okay, for one pound. I got these two. This is Emily Button. She's from Marks and Spencers. She goes for about 10 to 12. I think she's going to have to have a quick, um, exciting trip around in the washing machine before she goes anywhere else. And this one is Primark and goes for about a 10. This is just a pink ballerina bunny rabbit. Definitely going in the washing machine. Got a grubby mark on its ear. But yeah, so for a quid for the two, there's 20 quid there. So happy with those. So, so, um, so you know, a few weeks ago when you were like, oh, I'm having a sale on all of my plush and I'm going to get rid of them all. Like, I'm so sick of them. Um, that's going well. Wait till I get to the mugs. <laughs> You'll be fine. Also, we're getting rid of all the mugs and not selling mugs anymore and getting rid of the mug tree. As long as you haven't bought any Harry Potter. I haven't bought any Harry Potter. I haven't. Not one. But mind you, I didn't see any. I probably would have done if I'd seen them. Okay. Um, speaking of plush that I'm not buying anymore, this one is Moulin Roti La Grande Famille. He was 50p. Mm. Um, again, probably a tenner. Maybe more. La Grande Famille sometimes gets a bit more, but probably a tenner. You could not look more bored. You honestly, you're just like... <laughs> just my face. <laughs> pleased with this. Can't pick it up, but I'm pleased with it. <laughs> there you go. How's that? Wow. Ooh, actually nice oh yeah, James from yeah. white company king size duvet cover four pillowcases four quid nice and it, is, it oh, it sorry. is it the waffle one it's a waffle waffle weave one yeah oh, if i was a double i'd have had that you could sew it down one end oh fuck that 
as if. Yeah. So um yeah. Oh, somebody said this is lettuce rabbit. This is just Primark. This one. I don't think it's um a specific related to a book. one. it's it's just it's just got a Primark label on. But you could be right. I'll be I'll be willing to be told. Always willing to be told. Lisa says the Bristolian Kardashians have got a cousin from Swindon called Vicky. <laughs> I can't do a Swindon accent. What is a Swindon accent? Not too different to Bristol, I don't think. Yeah. So next stop, it's the next stop on the on the train. If you get on the <laughs> which way you're going, love. Well, you know, if you, for for me, like when I'm coming to you. After Bristol, it's Swindon, and then Reading, and then London Paddington. So Are you ever tempted to stay on and just go past me and wave when I'm waiting yeah. for you at the station? Yeah, but then I think, like, I, I don't really want to go to Swindon, so no offence. Yeah. I just don't know what's there. I've only been twice to see Scott's brother, and that's it. <laughs> Josh is saying you've seen nothing yet because you were talking about the plush. <laughs> no ear mugs today, Karen, no. Uh, Indie Chicks says, what size is the duvet cover? It's a king size and there are four pillowcases. Are they housewife or um, Oxford pillowcases? I have not taken them out. If you're going to start being all, all fucking knowy stuff, Lex, I don't think you can be on my channel. Because <laughs> I, I like an Oxford, see. Oh, That's a housewife, isn't it? It's a housewife. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know whether they're all housewife. There could be two and two, couldn't there? Because sometimes people have housewife on the top and Oxford underneath. That's, I'll pop a look in a bit. Right. Two, two layers of Oxford and then a layer of housewife. Hmm. That's such a punt. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly says, like me, colours buying strategies to go out the window when we see you. Yeah, I won't buy any mugs. Yeah. Definitely no mugs. True. <laughs> Sue says, eBay is a cover for Carla's plush and mug habit. <laughs> Okay, um, scrolly scroll. Oh, god, it's shot off in my hand again. G Scottish seller says, What's your best Scottish accent? I, do, I don't think I can do a Scottish accent at all. No, I can't. I really fucking no, that's can't. Liverpudlian. That's weird. No, no, I can, Liverpool. I can do Liverpool. I can, I can do Liverpool. <laughs> I can't do that either. No, so no, I, don't, <laughs> I don't think I can do a Scottish accent. No, I do love a Scottish accent. I'll though, hide like, you. Scottish accents are well sexy. I didn't do an accent. No, I really can't, honestly. No, no apologies to the entire rest of the world. Can't do an accent. Shelley says, uh, <laughs> Shell Story says, shout out to Shelley and Reading. Shelley and Reading. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Beth says she'd be interested in the duvet. So it's going to be a fight over that, I think. Yeah, people are agreeing that I can't do a Scottish accent. <laughs> people are people are not um, anybody anybody interested in anything I show you. Find me on Facebook. Send me a message, by the way, and we will we will talk. <laughs> Peter says three tier pillowage wet Lex. Wow, and even three different grades of softness as well. So I've got really tough memory foam ones at the bottom. And then I've got um, a layer of normal pillows and then ones that are like super soft. <laughs> Kelly says, what the fuck was that Scottish accent? It wasn't very good. Julie Coey says, can you do Belfast? Absolutely not. Indy says, an almost identical white stuff king size set is on bids for £79. Whoop, whoop. Shut the front door. Shut the front door. And Lainey says, you can do a Macam accent, apparently, Lex. And she says she's not that far from Scotland. I can, I can do like a general North East accent because... You know, I lived in Durham for a while and then... That's not it. You know that, don't you? You're not doing yeah. it now, are you? No. Okay, because it's shit if you are. <laughs> but I've, I think I've lived in a bunch of different places that had all very different accents, so that's why I've got a bit of a, a weird, not quite Welsh accent myself. You know? Sometimes you sound more Welsh than others. So there's some things you say and you sound really Welsh. Oh, sometimes I do it on purpose as well, like, you know, saying bang in and stuff like that. Quacken. <laughs> Sue says, "I love a couple of Scottish accent. Oh God, I, can't say. I love a couple of Scottish actors, and the accent really floods my basement, as Lex would say." <laughs> okay. Oh what my else? God! Yeah. Basement flooded yesterday. Watching normal people. Oh, ah, that's hot. I've never watched normal people. Should I watch it? Well, I like it. It's just sexual tension the whole time, and they're going like. Don't oh. do it already! <laughs> oh, just, just, 
Anyway, another bag of orphan mother for a quid. Keep her going a bit. Uh, a pair of sketches, three pounds. He wouldn't come down on these. Now they are a tad grubby. You can see the grubby on that one, can't you? So I'm gonna. I've, I've successfully put sketches through the washing machine before, so they're gonna go through the washing machine and see how they come up. Um, but yeah, three quid's not bad for sketches, really. Probably get twenty if I'm lucky. Can I just say rude? Connie heard you this morning, Lex, and said, um, "I really hope they do another Gavin and Stacey Christmas special." <laughs> Don't sound that bad. Lisa wants you to do Nessa. Um, what does she say? Um, there, there's the oh, what's occurring? Yeah. But no one says that, so I don't know where that came from. And then there is a, there is a bit which goes. Thing is, at the end of the day, do you know what I mean? And that, <laughs> that is a, yeah, I, that is a very well thing. Two yeah. seconds. I, I, yeah, yeah, I can smell cooking. Somebody has come into my home and is cooking. <laughs> what have you making? I, I, I would like to bacon make bacon sausage. Lovely. I, yeah, I brought that there on the side, and I brought bacon in with me about an hour ago, so that's okay. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about the old bacon. What sort of condition it's in? Yeah, the open bacon might be a bit dodge. So I just ordered my breakfast. Can I, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to have bacon and egg after this and mushrooms i haven't got any mushrooms nice uh mark walsh is in hi mark karen's off bye karen bye bye um relove says what size carla but i now don't know what is that was that the shoes martina there are seven indy also saying what size of the sketches mine have fallen to bits they are still a seven i believe they're a uk seven hang on really must get reading specs Bloke definitely said they are a seven. I cannot see any sizes in them, but Bloke said seven. And I'll try them all, and if they're a seven, I'll know, because um, they'll fit me. But yeah, seven, I believe, is the best I can manage at the moment. But they will have to they will have, to have a trip around the washing machine. How exciting. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, Dev says her mum always puts her sketches in the washing machine. Everybody's asking what size the sketches are. At this rate, I won't have to list anything on eBay. I've sold it all before I get on there. <laughs> Josh is like the, the shoe man who I bought. He, he had a, a couple of pairs of hotters as well, but he wanted fifteen pound for the two. I think it might have been fifteen pound a pair, even. He yeah, having a giraffe. No, I think he wanted fifteen pound for. So they were in. They were in nice shoes and they were in pretty good condition. I think one pair was was new. But Josh is like that shoe man was like, "All oh, these hotters, they're worth loads." And he's like, "You're in a barn in COVID conditions, not on eBay." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lainey says you've got spunk in your hair. Yeah, in um, not not right now. I have washed my hair. Um, no, Lainey was drawing pictures of resellers um on her quiz, and she drew she drew me, and she drew me with my you know. There's something about Mary here. Yeah, like that one. <laughs> uh, Martina, the lady shave is a babylus. Okay, I bought this, which I thought I was going to sell for millions. Turns out I'm not going to sell it for millions. I might get a tenner if I'm lucky. Yeah. It's a Disney panorama jigsaw. It is sellotaped up, which implies that all the bits are there. But I shall take it to Mother, and Mother will do it first. This is one of the good things about Mother being in, in lockdown, is she's got a lot more time on her, so she'll do that, and then I won't have to decide whether all the pieces are there or not. So, yeah. That was two quid. And two quid is probably about the right fucking price for her. I, didn't, I, I, th I thought I was getting a bargain, but probably not. Oh, well. You're not going to lose on it, though, so... I got a bamboo reusable lunchbox for a pound. This is literally brand new. It's got its packaging on. That goes for probably seven or eight, but I might keep it myself for when I go out for lunch with my mum on Thursdays. Because I am sick of going in Tesco's for a meal deal and they're only being shitty sandwiches. They don't seem to have any decent sandwiches in Tesco's anymore. I don't know if they're getting less sandwiches in. Well, what? they're probably they're probably not selling as many because people aren't going on their lunch break, so they're only getting like a small range, I should imagine. Yeah, yeah. But every time I go, it's just shit sandwiches. So we'll start taking a pack. Oh, don't, buy, don't buy shit sandwiches. They're not. Yeah, not nobody wants nice. a shit sandwich, do they? <laughs> <laughs> okay, <sighs> we're getting to the point where it's all mugs. Oh God. <laughs> So I got I picked up two of the paper chase travel journals. They were a quid each. They're um, nice. 
sold them quite successfully before. So inside there's dividers and, and bits for where you've been and God, I forget people can't see and people I met and yeah, and they, these are unused. So I don't know why this lady had two of them. But um, but yeah, they're unused. So but she hasn't been anyway. Well, why have two? Maybe she was giving them as gifts. Maybe she was going traveling. Yeah. You know, maybe she went, I'm going to take a year off traveling. And people went, I bought your travel journal. And she went, I'm taking a rucksack this fucking big. I'm not carrying a fucking travel journal halfway around. Or she was like, I'm going to travel so much in the next year that I'm going to need two. And then, <laughs> and then lockdown happened. Yeah. She's like, Thanks. Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> Um, Josh says co-op co -op do the best meal deal They do olives, Josh shut up I like olives Disgusting, disgusting person I love olives Oh Leanne's in Death by Glamour, hi Hi Leanne Kelly says question, did you like the feeling of normality Going to the car boot today? I loved it It felt like I put in the, in the Description for this, it felt almost like Real life I oh, went my. to McDonald's last night And then I went to the car boot today And it felt like it felt like being me. You didn't tell us what you got from McDonald's. I got quarter pounder with cheese, mozzarella dippers, six nuggets, three of which were for the dogs, and fries. Good. And Diet Coke. Good. Yes, I was I've like, Coke, obviously. It's like if you're going to McDonald's and you walk out with a Happy Meal, I am not going to be your friend anymore. Lex <laughs> was like, if you only buy a Happy Meal, I'm going to be turning tables. I was like, I think I might just get a fruit bag. <laughs> But yeah, only 20 minutes in the queue from McDonald's, so, you know, not too bad. That's not so bad. <laughs> and they, they were double queuing because it's a double double lane drive-through. And all the way in, time, in the time I was in queue, the car next to me stayed the same car and then a little tiny dog sitting looking at me out the window. So that was it. That was worth 20 minutes. Oh. I spent 20 minutes sitting next to a little dog anytime. Anytime at all. Hi, Steve. Oh, and um, Stephen, the other Steve Green is also there. The other Steve Green, stall 69 years. Hi, Steve Green. Hi, Steve Green. Stephen Green at the moment. <laughs> um, AIDS jealous about something, and Kelly's demanding a tan update. So nothing. Two pounds four. These, which are St. Michael vintage, vintage St. Michael porcelain mugs. And these, which are also M&S, these are the stacking mugs. They normally come in a metal stand. You have four of them. If you have the four in the metal stand, you can sell them for about $22.99 on average. However, people also buy the three individual ones because when they break theirs, they replace them. And you can sell the individual ones for $8.99 each. Bless so, hell. There we go. So they were worth picking up. And whether these are worth picking up or not, I don't know. But look what I found in them. Oh, tiny you note. Oh, so it says, help, I'm trapped in a mug factory. Send help. <laughs> <laughs> it says, Bob, you will think of me every night when you make your milky drinks. Take care. I will miss you very much. Love, Alison. So, Bob, if you're out there, you absolute wanker. Alison bought you these so that you could think of her when you were having your milk and drink. Oh she put a fucking note in and you sent them to the charity shop because they turned up in my car boot man from the charity shop, sir. So if you're watching, Bob, bad Bob, bad, bad Bob. Wow. Don't be like Bob, people. That's horrible. I was like, oh, little note. And then I was like, really sad, really sad little note. Oh. If you're watching, Alison. I will be your friend. I will make a milky drink and think of you. Not in these mugs because I'm going to sell them. But every time I make a milky drink, I will think of you, Alison, and I will think about Bobby. Yeah. And yeah. I only make milky drinks about twice a year. So if you're relying on me thinking of you very often, I won't be able to help. But, you know, I am I am going to think of you, Alison, every time I make a milky drink. And so are all these people now. Daisy May's point out that they have died. Bob may have died, but he didn't die at the time he was given the mugs and he has never taken them out of the box. So I feel like he, you know, he should have he should have took them out of the box and used them. Uh, Peter's being rude about milky drinks. So yeah, people people are now proper hating on Bob. Apart from store sixty nine, who says who would buy a man those florid mugs? I'm with Bob on this one. <laughs> yeah, I've gone off all the C's now. That's a heartbreaking story. He says, go, Bob, you could have been mental. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, oh, that's a bit sad. I'm going to think yeah. of Alison every time I make a milky drink and that'll make up for it. 
Although it does give me an idea for like, I quite fancy writing little notes like that and leaving it in things. <laughs> and then when people like you buy them and then they go like, oh my God. And just, yeah, just from making up like. Maybe things. Alison and Bob aren't real. Yeah, exactly. They're not real people. No one is real. The Kardashians aren't real. aren't real. Nick and Andrea aren't real. Nick and Andrea are real. No. No? I'm real. Existential crisis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. There's a message in one mug and a microwave rabbit in the other. <laughs> <laughs> I said, everybody's saying Bob may have passed away. Bob may have passed away. This is true. However, unless Bob Bob passed away within a day of being given these mugs, I feel like Bob, Bob did not go home that night having been given this gift from Alison and open them and go, I will make a milky drink of my friend and think of my friend Alison. And I feel like he should have done. That's what I think should have happened. Martina says it's the thought that counts, not the floral pattern. Bob is an ungrateful sod. <laughs> Lisa. This is, what if over the course of the summer we really get to know Bob and Alison through their stuff? Oh, can you imagine if you found another note from something else? Wow. Another note from from to Alison from Bob saying thank you so much for the mugs. They're not really my style, so I've donated to them as a charity shop, but cheers anyway. <laughs> or even more heartbreaking, I, I can't drink from those mugs because the thought of you just breaks my heart and and you know, <laughs> And, and if the mugs were ever we've been parted this way. Yeah. There's a reason why there's two mugs, and if you can't be with me, then we can't use them together. <laughs> Hi, Margaret Stewart. Laney said the, uh, me the medical people have just been to check her, her bruised, lumpy leg thing. Um, if you don't know, Laney crashed her motor scooter, honing around the town like a maniac, crashed her motor scooter into a lamppost that just stepped out in front of her and has a... a bruising on a bit that was already lipidemic apparently if, if i'm getting this right so so the bruising is affected her badly so there we go so the redness is bruising from the iron in my blood she's tend to get the kids to push her bed outside <laughs> do it yeah <laughs> <Poor Bob. laughs> i'm actually feeling like i started off slating bob and i'm feeling a bit sorry for bob now <laughs> Maybe Bob was a teacher and had a cover full of world's best teacher mugs. <laughs> oh, no, they just give them away straight away, don't they? Yeah, literally, they don't even take them home anymore. Drop them off at the charity yeah. shop. Thank you very much. My son, everybody. Hello, what a star. <laughs> Man. <laughs> um, uh, the lady shave is a babulous, Martina. Again. <laughs> Bob became lactose intolerant suddenly to avoid mug usage. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret says, did anyone go to the um, Marks and Spencer 70 to 90% off sale, jeans from 179 and dresses from 289? Excuse me a minute, I'm going into this bacon sandwich. Um, I think, didn't Sarah resells on Instagram? I think she had um, some nice bargainages from there, like a hundred pound coat down to a tenner and things like that. So... That's all right. We we do have an M and S, but it's an an outlet M and S, so I don't know if that's any different if it's an outlet store. You know. Um. And also, I don't know. now I want to find something with a note from Bob to Alison. Yeah, we shall make it so. A restraining order. Dear Alison, please stop sending me mugs. Love, Bob. <laughs> the papers. <laughs> um, I don't know. I would presume so. They do sell online, but I don't know if they sell the sale stuff online. I don't think... I don't know if the 90% sale stuff would appear online. I quite fancy going now. But then I don't know what I would buy. Because I'm not selling clothes anymore. Not like only vintage. I I, I don't want to do other clothes. But hundred pound coat for a tenner, that is pretty damn good. I could see me spending twelve pound fifty in there, you know. 
Sorry I missed you saying it. How much would do you want it for my daughter who is a disaster with the razor? Ten of your earth fingers. <laughs> so if you send ten fingers to Carla. I'll take ten fingers any day. You can't edit lives, can you? <laughs> I would say you heard it here first, but if you watch your Pornhub channel, like that's just regular. <laughs> it's not often I silence Lex, mind, is it? <laughs> oh, look. Um, oh, lots of jumpsuits in the sale. Oh, okay. £3.89. Flipping heck. Okay. But I just don't know whether it would be in an outlet store one. And it's at MacArthur Glen. You'd have to get bus there. Then you'd have to wear a mask. Yeah. I don't know if you have to in Wales, because you appear to be operating on completely different rules to us. Actually, no, it won't be open anyway. It won't be open because it's not a food place as well. It's only clothing. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, sorry. I thought that was Mel offering Laney Ten Fingers. I'm not sure why this tastes cheesy. Has he put cheese in it instead no, of butter? He put cheese in everything, so he might have done. There we go. <laughs> what? Well, you don't get a letter from Bob after that comment. <laughs> MacArthur Glen, is that where they left the cake out in the rain? I don't get that. I don't understand. No. Um, no, Kirsten, they don't have homeways. It's just, it's literally just a clothing one. I know, right? Yeah. And also, Karin. At least we wear pants. At least we, well, I wear pants. I was talking with Lainey last night and um, and we were talking about doing live streams and just being naked, like, from the waist down anyway. So, you know. Cheese. Found cheese, which is Found. reassuring because I was a bit worried by the cheesy flavoured bacon. Oh, there you go. Martina's going to message you. All right, thank you. So, last few bits. Ready? Yeah, are you, are you ready? Are you okay now? Yeah, I'm fine. I feel a lot better now I've had half a bacon sandwich. Right. <laughs> Ten quid paid. More than I would usually pay, right? Going to beat the dog to dead death. Shut up. Normally, I pay a pound each maximum, but... Steve, my car boot guy, was asking £3 each, and I gave him that look. That Are you having a giraffe? Yeah. And he said, I haven't made any money for three months, Carlo. And I was like, I see your point. You're not going to make any money with those prices. I see your point. However, <laughs> I will give you a tenner for the five. And he said, I'll chuck in a sixth one if you give me a tenner. So I got six, pound, six mugs for £10. Okay. These ones are the um, Whatever It Takes charity mugs that we're – um, designed by celebrities. So this one's Claudia Schiffer, and this one is Mini Driver. I have only ever had the Coldplay ones before. I've sold the Coldplay one three times now. Sorry, I've got hiccups. Uh, once in a box for 25 quid, and twice not boxed for 15 quid. Can so I, can I, safe tenor. Can I just say, I, I, it still kind of blows my mind slightly, the idea of a Coldplay mug. <laughs> You know, like we're a rock band. We play stadiums. Mug. You know. But it was yeah. a charity mug that they asked celebrities to design. Still, still, you know. Cold <laughs> mug. Uh, you know. A large grumpy mug, which made me think of Heather, because Heather always drinks her coffee out of a large grumpy mug in the mornings. A large goofy mug. This is the one that he chucked in free that I didn't really want, which is a tall tigger. And then 
a Disney tankard mug, which is um, a Mickey memorial, Mickey memories one. So that was ten quid for six. Like I said, more than I would normally pay, but DVD it has a Pantera mug. Pantera mug. I don't know. Debs, I oh. normally get a tenner for a Disney mug minimum and sometimes more. Indie chick, I thought I thought she said that she's got a Sex Pistols egg cup with matching toast rack. I mean, <laughs> apparently that doesn't exist, but if it did, I would probably buy that because that would be insane. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do people wear clothes? For... <laughs> Some people do, Steve. We don't. <laughs> Barry Manilow mug is okay. Yes, absolutely. It's just the idea of, you know, of a big, what's meant to be, you know, stadium filling rock band having a mug i don't know it just cat kids don't make mugs cold play and and you know they don't make mugs <laughs> that's in my mind see cat kids could easily fill a stadium with mugs there's a lot of cat kids and fans out there yeah not me it's fucking dots <laughs> No, she's not. You have a stone rose. Oh, see, I don't. I, it's all coming out now, isn't it? Carla is a is a barbecue sauce girl. No, no, that's genius. <laughs> that is genius because that, that's no, that's beautiful. I'd have a Metallica too cozy. See, I have an issue with brown sauce, right? I love brown sauce. My issue with it is, what the fuck have they put in it that they won't tell us about? Brown. Exactly. Tomato sauce is made of tomatoes, and so they tell you it's tomato sauce. Apple sauce is made of apples, so they tell you it's apple sauce. Brown sauce, apparently, is made of brown. What yes. the fuck? And it's delicious. It just seems to me very dodgy that they don't tell you what's in it. I love it. It's fruity sauce, so that, that's what it, it actually well, is. Well, then why don't they call it fruity sauce? Because then they will confuse it and think that it's sweet when it's not sweet. It's savoury. And because people are idiots, generally. Apparently it's made of figs and sultanas and... I was going to say scrambled eggs, and I was, I'm sure it's not made of scrambled eggs, and then I realised what I was reading. Yeah, scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs, that's what I'm going to have for breakfast. Metallica Russian Dolls, that's cool. I like that. I was going to say you shouldn't put anything into your body that's good for cleaning silver, but Pepsi Max is good for cleaning toilet bowls, and I put that into my body daily. So It's, um, it's because it's got vinegar in it, and that's the actual active ingredient in it that cleans silver and you shouldn't use too much of it or too often and I actually just use silver polish there you go there was some of that for sale at the car boot sale this morning some guy had three bottles of silver polish and I was like should I buy that and then the other side of me was like you haven't got any silver you don't buy silver you don't need silver polish why are you even tempted by this I've got silver dip it's amazing oh my god like, no, wow. I like tomato sauce, Rebecca. I like barbecue, but my that, that was tomato sauce in those. Pardon me. All of the um, all the all the menu chefs are on it now. Look, nice. You'll get Laney. You'll get Laney on the crumpet on the crumpet bus any second now. Laney will be like crumpets with weird stuff on them. That's the way forward. But then Kelly tried it, and she said it was really nice. Yeah, as Laney, well. Laney's got Laney's got Kelly on the crumpet bus with her. Yeah. Fandria, did you know you can freeze eggs? You can um, whip them for omelettes and freeze them. Um, if, if you if you whip them into an omelette quantity and put your cheese and stuff in, you can then freeze that in a sandwich bag. And then when you get it out, you can drop the sandwich bag 
into boiling water and do boil in a bag omelette and it works. Sounds like it shouldn't, but it does. That's crazy. Sounds like it shouldn't work, but it does. Yeah. And you can also just freeze eggs as, on their own as well. If you're not in their shells, they don't freeze well in their shells, but you can empty them out into, into like an ice cube tray or, you know, a muffin tray. <laughs> muffin tray. <laughs> Kelly says she's Laney's crumpet wingman. <laughs> and Mel says she eats peri peri sauce on almost everything. I put Frank's Red Hot Sauce on lots of things. I love it. an actual work-related question. Oh. So, you know when you have tarnished silver, when it goes blackened, as long as it's not, is this just pure silver and it's not got any stones or anything in it, you just put it in the little tray thing and then you dip it in. And you could actually watch the black come off it, but don't leave it in there too long, like maximum 10 seconds, and it comes out sparkling. It's great. It smells. Silver, silver at dip. And Lisa said it looked like it said coronavirus on the front. I'm sure you haven't bought coronavirus dip. Don't think so. I mean, I bought it off eBay, so I'll send it back if it does do that, you know. Are they nice though? Because I bought what was supposed to be a breakfast wrap, but featured it in the wa in the waffle. And basically, my entire feature was, "Don't buy this; it's fucking awful." Yeah. I made I made uh, omelet yesterday. It was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a step too far. Grilled? No, that's. I like no. chicken and jam sandwiches, but I can't see how cheese fits in. I I like um, marmalade on sausages. That's I good. I can see that that would work because you can have cranberry cranberry sauce on your roast dinner, you know. So I see that. Yeah, yeah, I'm all right with that, but I, I don't see that the cheese and strawberry jam thing is is a, is a thing. I don't see that that's a goer. No cheese and jam, no. Andy's been ordering sauces via your link, so I hope you want to kick back for it. Cool. I'm not sure if the if the if it works properly, but I don't know. It's it 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 said like you know refer a friend thing, and I was like, okay, I'll put that link in, but I can't see how it works, so I don't know. Oh, it's not just Joan. Debs is on it as well. Look. Yeah, I agree with Jason. You're all weird. <laughs> See that, Josh? That to me just looks like there's an ingredient missing. And to make soy sauce and car and garlic butter pasta, yeah, like cheese or meat or something like something should be there. Yeah. Um, dumpster diving dev goes a little bit too far. She does a bit, doesn't she? I'm sorry. No. Are you pregnant, Debs? <laughs> That is all shades of wrong. Mandy Moose says her nan used to give her tin fruit sandwiches. Aww. Apparently what making Phoebe feel hungry is making me feel ill. And yet Mandy said your link did work. She got 10% off. Oh, there we go. Good. Fabulous. Cheese and jam apparently is like sweet and sour. Okay. Okay, Carwin, what the fuck? Wait, wait. No. Right. It has to be very specific. And it's McDonald's chips. Well, not so much in their milkshake, but in McFlurry. McDonald's chips dipped in McFlurry. Bang in. Don't put chips in your McFlurry. You've then sullied your flurry. Don't it's sully your flurry really with your nice. chips. Really you can't help. Hell. Oh, honestly, there's something wrong with you people. It is good. Okay, Josh says his pasta will have cheese in. That feels that seems a bit better. Okay. I'm having steak today. Steak. No, don't believe you. Oh, nice one, Sail Away. Going to make Germashic Park one day with mash as mountains, broccoli as trees, and stand in some turkey dinosaurs, and then some gravy as mud. That is brilliant. If you do that, you should definitely make it a YouTube video. That sounds yeah. like so much fun. 
<laughs> I used to love turkey dinosaurs. That was my standard, like, student food. I really liked turkey Twizzlers, and I've never quite got over Jamie Oliver's fucking that up for us. Never had one. I bloody thought. dare you. If you don't want to eat turkey Twizzlers, Jamie Oliver, don't eat them. Nobody was coming around your house and force feeding you. If you'd have to take them away from the rest of us, you knobhead. I liked Jamie Oliver up until then. I really did. I was a big fan of Jamie, and then I was like, you absolute arse. Honestly. I thought they looked minging. They were nice, really mm -hmm. nice. Steve, Steve, Steve speaks sense. No, Steve he knows what he's No. <laughs> Don't sully your flurry, folks. <laughs> there you go. Carmen says that's our new, our new favorite for it. Maybe I'll get merch and get it on a t-shirt. Don't sully. Don't sully your flurry. <laughs> <laughs> Lainey, there's no you salty chip ice cream minger. That's <laughs> you, Lainey. Putting weird things on your crumpet. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, yes, that's because sensible people do, Mandy. Unlike, unlike flipping Joshua. Oh, Mel, Mel doesn't. Maybe they never had them in Australia. Maybe maybe they never got to Australia. Okay, so they were made by Bernard Matthews, so they were reconstituted turkey, basically. That you know, and and they were a spiral of meat, literally a spiral of meat. I presume they must have been formed around a a poker or something, you know. And they were they were and you cooked them, and they, oh, they were bloody delicious. They were like turkey sausage made made a turkey sausage, really. And turkey to yes, by oh, they were so good. Bloody Jamie Oliver. Yeah, see, back spices turkey twizzlers were amazing. Oh, look at Steve. Steve's gone back to the 90s. Billy Bear, Billy Bear meat in your sandwich. Let's buy that for the kids. He still has it now, though. He <laughs> says, yes, but was it meat? Well, it was it was originally mm. meat-based. They came they came from a meat factory. <laughs> One saw a turkey. <laughs> it started for 10. <laughs> Kirsten said she'd never had a Twizzler. Yeah, but they were good, Kirsten. Honestly, you should trust me. They were good. They were really, really good. <laughs> there you go. Back to if I still I didn't know you could still get Billy Bear. <laughs> I don't know Kirsten why. I'm going to from Carla's Kitchen next week. Oh, Ian says, Carla, have you had your artwork done by Lainey asking for a friend? Not as far as I'm aware, Ian. I'm not sure what about whether you apply in writing or whether you have to send a check, but as far as I'm aware, I've been completely um completely overlooked by the Lainey artwork movement. Not I'm not I had mine done. It's great. Azami's in it as well. It's got two legs. Well, where do I see it? Um well I put it in um my vlog from last night. Okay, I haven't watched your vlog from last night because I've been somewhat busy this morning doing this. Rude. Oh, and then doing this. <laughs> right, ka -ching. Hey. Don't forget your 10% commission. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mike says, my sister dipped her crisps in water to wash unwanted fat off. Oh, soggy Ooh. crisp. Okay, oh. no, that's weird. I had a friend who used to spit in her crisps and nobody else could have any. That's bile yes it's a, there's, a, there's more of a sad story to it because it turned out years later we didn't realize but years later we discovered that she was drastically underfed at home and therefore if she ever did get the money together for a bag of crisps she didn't want to share them because she was bloody starving poor girl Aww. so um yeah so that's that's you know when people say have you got any great regrets of your life and one of my great regrets is that i didn't realize how her how things were for her we've gone very we've gone off on very much a tangent but yeah, yeah one of my great regrets is that as a teenager you don't pay attention properly to stuff and no. i have no idea that her life was that shit I know, and you know when people say if you could go back and change one thing that's what i would go back and change i would i would you know because it would have all of it would have taken was for one of our one of her friends to speak to our parents and go something's not right in her house hmm. you know so anyway <laughs> uh andy says any more mugs no i've now shown you the entire hall so just the one two three four five six seven eight nine ten, just the 11 mugs today <laughs> just <the> 11 mugs <laughs> laney says she'll do me now eh? and send it to me sorry in advance okay are they, uh -huh. are they proper offensive 
she's Have you got brilliant. Paper? <laughs> honestly, she's brilliant at it. It's um, yeah, it was like looking in a mirror. Honestly. Okay, I'm looking forward to this now. Uh, Mike says, in, in response to his sister with the soggy Chris, his sister has Down syndrome. And as far as she was concerned, it was normal because everyone dipped biscuits into tea or coffee. You can, you can see where the thinking was on that. Okay. Yeah. So soggy crisps. Oh, dear. I know. Especially if they, like, fell into your drink and then you had, like, you know, <laughs> go fishing. <laughs> yeah. We have been talking for an hour and ten minutes. There are 169 people watching, which I think might be a record. I have no idea why there are 169 people. Oh, no, three of them have gone. Bye. <laughs> I have no idea why there were 169 people that thought this was worth listening to, but thank you so much for joining us this morning. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the haul. I very much enjoyed going out into the world and, and doing something that felt like almost normal. And uh, Josh will be doing his, his haul in a bit, and it will be three minutes long because he spent <laughs> seven <laughs> I, I don't know. Josh, are you doing a video today? Are you, are you doing a live at any point? Yeah, yeah Josh, goodbye. 68 of our viewers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't know if Josh is doing a live today, but if he is, I'm sure he'll show you his his six pence worth of bargains. Nia says she watches because we are both fab and funny. Oh, thank you, darling. Are we? Thank you. Yeah, Josh is going to do a quick video of his seven items. So um, Julie's going to watch back because she's missed most of it. Less than a yeah. minute. If you haven't thumbed up, then give me your thumb. Not your fist. Thumb me now. <laughs> ten. Ten. Ten fingers. What's ten fingers? Steve says he watches because we're both awesome. Oh, thanks, Steve. Thanks. We are awesome. He's right. I'm often awed by us. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa says, can everyone do car boot vlogs, please? She's having withdrawal symptoms. Right, I've been awake since half past five. I set an alarm for half past six, and I think I must have been a bit overexcited because my body clock woke me up at half past five and went, let's go! And I was like, we can't go. We're meeting Josh at seven. I was like, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Excited! <laughs> so, yeah, I might um, I might squeeze in a half-hour nana nap now. You never know. I'm going to make some breakfast. And um, it, make sure you guys tune in to... Um, I'm sure you all watch Nick and Andrea anyway, but make sure you do because I'm going to be on. I can't, I'm, I'm not quite sure why. Because oh, I think I'm going to be on talking about everything I've just talked about. Yeah. I think, that, I think they asked me if I would like to come on and discuss today's car boot experience with them because they are also car booting today. So you'll get to know about their car boot experience and you can hear all about mine again, which will be very exciting for you. Yeah. Yes. So that's eight o'clock on... Um, <laughs> Eight o'clock on BBC Two. <laughs> what the fuck? Eight o'clock on Nick and Andrea's channel, funnily enough, on account of it being Nick and Andrea's show. Yeah, so um, do come and join us for that. Lainey says, can I keep still? She's trying to draw my hair. It's not me that's moving, it's the hair. The hair is drying and getting bigger as we speak. <laughs> right. I think, I think Lainey's going to pop on tonight as well because she's promoting, um, or they're going to talk about a quiz that she's doing next week. Cool, cool. Yeah. Who's on Lainey's Tuesday quiz, do we know? Well, I think that's what they're going to be talking about. Okay, because now that I'm like up there on the leaderboard, I'm a bit... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, the, the 50 questions. The the question timed one that I did last Tuesday. Yeah, uh, Karen. Okay, I'm a bit invested in that one now because I feel like I've got a main... I'm, I'm joint second place with Aid and I'm quite happy to sit there on, on in that corner with Aid, just the two of us, just mm. us. Don't anybody else get 40 points because then there'll be three of us and three's a crowd. So just me and Aid sitting there together in second place. I didn't, I didn't get first place, but that's okay because, you know, losers also count. Losers' lives matter. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so I mean, I'm now overly invested to see who comes on and, and if they beat me. And Karin's a bit super competitive, isn't she? She's, she's very competitive. Um, I bet she's researching everything right now. She's yeah, Karin's literally books. reading the internet for the next few yeah. days. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah, um, thank you for watching. It is time to say goodbye. We'll be back next week. I don't know whether Lex has got a car boot coming up ever, but we'll be back next week regardless. When they let you out of my come and stay and come to my car boot. Yes, that's kind Have of the plan. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Have they said that you can go out of Wales yet? No, we can't go um more than five miles. Oh, we said about this, didn't we? Because we talked about how long it would take you traveling five miles at a time. We decided to take yeah. you out three weeks. Five miles every day. Yeah. <laughs>
Well, when they release you, you can come and stay, and then you come to our car boot, even if yours back on, if even if yours yeah. isn't back on. Steve says his aid on top or below. Yes. Both. Depending, depending on how I feel at the time. <laughs> right. Thank you for watching. We love you all. See you next week. Take care. Give us a thumb. Bye. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. wait, Lainey is sending you your picture. Talk amongst yourselves. Oh, no, that's not you. That's Claire Plant. Hi, Claire Plant. I'll answer you in a second. I've just completely ignored your message. Not deliberately. Well, it was deliberate because you saw me do it. You saw me do it. Can't pretend it wasn't deliberate when I've just said that I've done it. Come on, Lainey, I'm waiting. If anybody tunes in now, they'll be like, is it stopped? Are they still live? We could keep very still. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm still waiting. I'm, I'm just waiting for Lainey to send me this do, do, elevator do, music. Do, I can't do it. Do, 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 do. Oh, here it is. Dun, 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 dun. It's not too bad. Look, I'm, I'm reasonably flattered by that. I've got a very square head. That's that's. Pretty good. It's as recognisable as me, isn't it? And, and I yeah. presume I'm Molly. That's pretty well, good. Otherwise, okay. otherwise, why would you draw somebody else? Yeah. That's yeah. That's recognisable as me. Those boobs, though, Lainey. Those boobs are much higher than mine. <laughs> much higher than mine have been for many years. <laughs> those boobs are actually in in boob position, whereas mine are most certainly not. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lainey. I'll get that put on my merch as well. Oh, and a very short fringe, Jason's pointed out as well. Steve says, Lainey, draw me like Rose off Titanic. Draw me like one of French girls. girls. Get out of my head. Right, we're going. Thank you for watching. We love you. We love you all. Wow. We love most of you. Love most of them all. Yeah. I love them all. I think they're all lush. They're all good lush. Thank you so much to She's Always Flipping Mandy for the massive super chat. I am extremely, extremely humbled, which is a word you don't hear me use because I hate it. I hate that word. But I'll, I'll be humbled just for you, man. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching. And really, I'm going this time. Where's the button? Oh, shit. I've hit all the other buttons. Fuck. Fuck, I've hit loads of buttons. Okay. Bye. Awkward wave. Bye. Bye. <laughs>